<laughs> Hello everybody and welcome to Connor's First Stop. So today I'm starting up something new called uh, Stars and Scrubs. Today I'm doing the Rookie Edition. <laughs> so if your rookie is underneath the scrub list, don't be offended by it. Number one, I'm not expect I'm not saying that they're bad. In most cases at least. But uh it's only uh if they're on the scrub list it's mostly because they're underperforming of where they were drafted and the expectations were uh, too high for them coming out of the draft. So it doesn't mean that they're bad, it's just that they're underperforming, so don't get offended. So starting off with the stars, my weak hooker, uh the Colts. Uh and he has three interceptions in four games. <laughs> Looks like the comparisons were kinda right. In which he was compared to uh, Ed Reed and uh, Troy Palmolo. He's looking great so far. He's most likely going to uh, win uh, AFC rookie, Defensive Rookie of the Year. At least in my opinion. And then uh, number two for uh, stars, uh, Kareem Hunt of the Kansas City Chiefs. And honestly, he expected him uh, to be this good. I believe he was drafted in the third round. I don't remember what college. But still, so in the running game, he has 502 rushing yards and four touchdowns in four games. Well, in the receiving game, he has 157 receiving yards and two touchdowns. So he's by far looking like the best rookie, at least on offense. It was, honestly, the rating through one through five doesn't really matter too much. But, yeah. So yeah, he's most likely gonna win uh, offensive offensive rookie of the year in the AFC. Then uh, moving on to number three, Deshaun Watson. Honestly, I was not really too high on him coming into the draft. Uh, but last week uh, in week four, he really turned it up in which he had two hundred and eighty three passing yards, four touchdowns, one interceptions, and the, and in total, he has. 811 passing yards, 7 touchdowns, and 4 interceptions. So he's looking pretty good as of right now. Let's see how that stands. Again, I'm not I'm not really too high on him right now, but that could change by the end of week 8 or something. <laughs> Moving on to uh, Carl Lawson uh, of, of Cincinnati. So he has uh, 2 sacks and a half. He's looking pretty good, and I believe he was supposed to be drafted in the first round. Some uh, scouts said that he was. Didn't happen. He got drafted in the third round. So there's that. And then uh, number five, Trey Davius White out of LSU going to the Buffalo Bills. So far he has one interception. I could have sworn that he had a, uh, a fumble recovery for a touchdown. That might have been somebody else. I didn't actually watch the game. I just watched the highlight. Maybe it got called back, but it appeared to me like he got a touchdown off of Atlanta, or that could have been somebody else, but whatever. But he also, So he had that one interception. <laughs> and uh, by a pro football focus, he's rated the best rookie cornerback right now. So honorables. So uh, TJ Watt, he has a, two sacks and an interception. And then uh, Marshawn Lattimore of my team, the Saints. He's, for uh, pro football focus, he's the second best rookie quarterback, cornerback. And he only played three games. He missed one game against, I believe, Carolina. Yeah, it was Carolina. And he's just looking pretty good. I mean, really good in my opinion. <laughs> so moving on to the scrubs. I should have mentioned this before. I'm not calling the scrubs for rookies who did not play, so... Uh, like John Ross. Uh, what was his name? The Titans. Uh, the fourth or overall pick by the Titans, or he could have been fifth. I can't remember his name, but he only played two games, and he had like seventy-nine yards, but that's mostly due to injury. <laughs> I'm kind of annoyed that I can't remember his name. So, uh, I also kind of want to put Miles uh, Garnett out there, but again, he hasn't played a game yet. 
being first drafted first overall hasn't played a game, but he has plenty of talent, so I'm not going to put him in the scrub category. So starting off, probably the only real bag uh, rookie so far is Deshaun Kaiser. 764 yards, 3 touchdowns, and 8 interceptions. So I didn't know that his stat line was this bad. I was kind of high on him. But the thing is, he's playing on the Browns, and which is hard to do. Number one, you're a rookie quarterback. Number two, you're playing on a team that doesn't have too much talent on offense besides the offensive line. So how are you going to succeed fairly well? No, you're not. So take that into account. So number two, Adoree Jackson. I couldn't find his uh, pass allowed stats anywhere, so I'm just going off of memory. I, I believe, uh, like, for people who don't watch uh, NJ Take or Sports Fans Entertainment, I recommend watching him. He started ranting about Adoree Jackson and how he always allows uh, deep passes and whatnot. So I'm going off of that. So he keeps. He allowed at least two touchdowns so far, I know that. On the bright side, he is a nice kick returner, but I feel like they should have drafted Tr Tr Okay, I have a hard time pronouncing his name. Troy Davius White. That's who they dra should have drafted 18th overall. Or whether, or, uh, whoever, or I mean, wherever they drafted, they should have drafted Troy Davius White because they did have the chance. So number three, second dr overall draft pick. Right now, third overall draft pick because they allowed the uh, Bears to come up. Uh, Solomon Thomas with one sack. So I'm not saying he's bad by any means, but if you're drafted that high, you kind of expect him to get more than one sack after four games. But still. Number four, Derek Burnett has zero sacks so far. He was a. Uh, in consideration for the Saints drafting him, I don't think he's going to be bad. He's just taking a while to get uh, used to the NFL. And then O.J. Howard, number five. People are expecting him to be a lot better by now. But based off his stats, he has 92 yards and one touchdown, which isn't horrible, but people were, uh, he was supposed to be a highly talented. Like, people were saying that he's uh, one of the best Titans that, that they've seen in years. The most NFL ready tight end that they've seen in years. Doesn't look like it. I know that tight ends don't get high numbers compared to wide outs, but still. I just kind of expected him to be a little bit better in terms of uh, output. But with that said, it's only uh, the first four games. The stars can be scr become scrubs. Uh, scrubs can become stars. Who knows? And again, it's this rookie season. They have 12 more games to play in the rookie season, too. So the Scrubs can bounce back and the Stars can fall. Now see what happens with the rest of the season. But thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. And don't forget to share the video. Thank you.